this tiny door. And look at the tiny door. Found it. Found it. I found tiny door. I can barely read it. Hmm. Yeah, that's too small for me to read. Oh, where are we? Mm, I think that worked a bit too well. It made it big, but I didn't expect all this. It's huge! <laughs> Here, we'll have a go at reading it. Okay. Here and now and there and then, there lived a man who never lived under a mountain that is just a hill, but a mountain nonetheless to those who have none. This man was and is and will be a magical man, a mystical creature of fabulous beauty with flashing bright eyes that transform from deep dark pools of murky brown to clear shining lakes of crystal blue. Ooh, that's Ooh. Cool. He was and is and will be of magnificent stature, not quite a man and not quite a god. He stands tall amongst mortals, small amongst deities, yet holds his own with them all. His hair is a mane of glossy gold silk. <laughs> his skin glows brightly with light from within. A fine man was, is and will be he, or so he thought and thinks and will think, and perhaps so do we. When he loved and was loved, this god of a man, a man of a god, life was young, new, strange and unknown. The rules that we know were not written nor spoken, and nothing surprised, yet everything did. He ruled over many with a kind heart, cared for his people as father to child. He loved and was loved and was married in bliss. Then he spied a young beauty that sent him adrift. What a vision she was, this young girl that he spied. She had long golden hair and snow white skin, ruby lips and green emerald eyes. Her limbs were those of a dancer. Long and elegant she flowed as she moved o'er the hills and down to the stream where she washed her glistening treads of gold with porcelain hands. Sure, what more could you want? <laughs> <laughs> she sang as she washed an enchanting tune, not seeing this man nor noticing how he was falling for her. As she sang, her light shone and he drifted towards her as a moth to a flame that will burn. When he came to her side, she was startled and shy, but his beauty was hard to resist. <laughs> <laughs> he stared in her eyes and in no time at all, she agreed to be married to a man she just met. <sighs> that was crazy. That was a bit crazy. They came back to the palace upon his white horse. His wife was not pleased, but what she could she do? This was time without rules of her man who just ruled. Hmm. Oh, that's a bit bad. Her husband was powerful, much loved by all. She could do nothing a while, only stall. But soon she had enough and jealousy struck. She transformed the young, young sprite to a puddle of muck. Oh my goodness. She must have had one like me. <laughs> like this one. Mm. The girl changed yet again in front of her eyes and became a beautiful butterfly. She fluttered around for a time, quite a while. <laughs> she was reborn again as a mortal child and grew happy and unaware of her past. He found her and lost her again and again, and many were lost because of his deeds. An interesting road appeared in a bog, heading nowhere and everywhere, all just for love. Our times came fast and his kind hid below, under the mountain or hill, what you will. Perhaps we smell. What do you think? <laughs> hmm. That's a short version of a tale of love and romance and foolishness playing its part. A story with twists and turns and intrigue, many of which I have left for you to explore, be inspired and create many more. Google Mither, Attain, Celtic Love, Relay, She. It is there as everything is and each version changes much like the wind. Hi there, I'm Anne Gertie Smith. Um, I'm half of Scale the Bio, which means living stories. The other half is Annette Corkery. And we should be travelling around the country to the schools at the moment, telling the myths and legends, and then we should be heading on to festivals, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. So instead of that, we're doing the stories online. I've started with uh, a version of Mither Attain, our local legend, 
that I wrote called Admiring Mither. We're going to do a bigger version of that very soon. Keep an eye out.